Hey everyone, welcome to another pre-Infocom edition of my Rants and Rays video cast. And one of the fastest growing segments of our market has been digital signage over the past five, six, maybe even seven years. And uh, a big player in that is a company called Navori Labs. And I've got the managing director, Jeffrey Weizman here with me. And they're gonna be at Infocom in the perfect location, West Hall, because that's where all the big display companies are gonna be, booth 1957. Jeffrey, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, Gary. Very excited to be uh, chatting with you. I appreciate it. There's a lot of digital signage for whatever reason comes out of Canada. You guys are dominating and leading in digital signage um, creation, both on the creative side, but also on the hardware side. Kind of tell us where Navori sits in the ecosystem for signage. Yeah, that's a great question because the signage company of uh, signage industry does evolve quite quickly. And um, if you just look at it, uh, just staring at the book's cover, it's hard to decipher who does what and where everybody plays. So for Navori, we are pretty simple. We're a software engineering company. So our core business is to develop and innovate and come out with the best software products. And sometimes to develop and deliver the best software-based solutions, you also need to have uh, reliable and powerful hardware in order to allow customers to experience the true breadth of what the software is capable of. So we do a little bit of both. And do you do the do you do the CMS or the creative content or both? We'll do the CMS. Uh, think of us as the engine. We're able uh -huh. to manage, deliver, and play whatever content uh, the customer's uh, heart can imagine. So whatever the content, whether it's videos, images, HTML, uh, data. So I, I would yeah. say it's a combination of data and content that we're managing. We're also very strong when it comes to actually leveraging data to make real-time decisions on what content should play. And you know, when we talk about different innovations, we'll also talk about where that data can come from and how real-time uh, playlist intelligence can get. Because it's really all about optimizing the messaging to the room based off what's happening uh, at that moment in time. That totally makes sense. And, and if you wanna learn more, go to navori.com, N-A-V-O-R-I.com. And you kind of alluded to something that I think a lot of people are um, sort of discovering, and I think you're gonna you're gonna take you're gonna have an opportunity to sort of explore this at Infocom, and that's AI because with your play we, we're gonna have a new player there. I understand, and 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 that is gonna have AI. And the nice thing about AI would be that what you just talked about to make sure that content is relevant at any moment in time based on other factors and unless unless you're the person who's individually like studying the data in real time if we use ai we can actually we can actually leverage the data I, i'm guessing that's how you're using it to produce a lot of content that that would not have to be manually produced yeah so there's definitely different ways to leverage it and ai is a huge buzzword so mm -hmm. you know we can break down the trend in terms of how Navori views AI within digital signage. Okay. Um, you know, starting from its most simple form, uh, if you think about it for 20 years, uh, customers of ours are publishing content to their screens and they don't know who's watching it. So today we leverage AI uh, in order to give our customers the ability to not only understand after the fact who looked at what and for how long and really measure the impact of each content or campaign that they're showing, uh, but also to know that in real time, and we could actually leverage that data so that you could have different um, logic attached to each content. So the content will basically uh, be selected based off what's going on. And you can have uh, different segments or it could be um, a lot more targeted than what you were able to do previously. Therefore, a lot more effective, driving a higher ROI for the clients. Okay. And that, uh, in, in the case of this year's Infocom, you have a new product coming out, the 3800. Can you talk about that product specifically and how you're using AI? Because I, I know it's pitched as the next gen AI signage player yeah. for you. So one of the challenges with AI is always the hardware to support it because AI takes a more significant compute uh, requirement than standard digital signage. Standard digital signage you can run on 
pretty much any system these days, and most of them are capable of reliably paying back images and videos. Mm -hmm. um, the challenge when you introduce AI, you need a much more powerful CPU and GPU in order to run the AI models. So with that comes a higher price tag and a higher footprint. Uh, the hardware is usually bigger um, mm -hmm. and therefore clunkier. Uh, so we actually came out with this really new uh, sleek unit that runs an ARM processor. And that allows us with a very competitive cost to have a unit that's capable of running an AI model. So we can still offer the same measurement and real-time playlist capability, but in a much lower profile, big performance device. At the same time, we added um, essentially two ethernet connections. So it's PoE and you have okay. one coming in for power and network. Okay. Then you also have another port going to the display, which allows us to actually give commands and receive information from the display through TCP. So we could actually monitor the panel at the same time. Previously, that would have been done with CEC, which the right. limitation there would be it's a one-way communication. One -way. Uh, or we do it through RS-232, which also comes with its disadvantages and can be complicated to manage. Yeah. So as long as the device, the, the display has a network port on it, you can read the content from it. And of course, nowadays, most most would. Um, so from what I could see, that that player that you have looks small. It looks like not much bigger, if not the same size as like an Intel Nook uh, kind of player, but it's got yeah. AI capabilities built into it in that small form. Oh, wow. That's really small. Yeah. That's very small. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And, uh, very lightweight. Uh, the entire enclosure looks like it might be a heat sink as yep. well. So it doesn't run that hot. Do you still can mount it behind a, Mount it behind the screen comfortably and everything. Yeah, you can mount it right by the, right behind the screen. So you have the heat sink. The only right. plastic parts are here, and that's to allow the Wi-Fi signal to emit. Um, yep. The metal can block the Wi-Fi, so very efficient build. Yeah. So um, I, I I'm going to take a, a closer look at that product if you want to hold it up to the screen. But I'm also going to put up a, a a graphic of a, a little image of it right now. Um, and because it has a, I can see is that two HDMI ports or two USB ports? set. It's two, two uh, network ports. Okay, and there's an HDMI port as well? Yeah, you've got HDMI on this side. Okay, so two USB, two network, uh, uh, an HDMI. So it's pretty standard sort of yep. configuration there. But one of the uh, one of the network ports is being used to, for PoE and the others used yep. for communication and connection to the network. The, yep. um, Something the, else that's... Oh, sorry, Gary. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Something else that's important to note where you get to leverage AI, there's there's also a big trend where everybody's trying to be more uh, green and energy efficient yeah. and Navori yeah. is very conscious of that. So not only do we use um, very green data centers for hosting and where everything we do, we try to build our software in a way where it can run on uh, hardware that's consuming uh, the least amount of power. Mm -hmm. But with this device, we actually put in a presence detection functionality. So okay. we can actually turn the displays on and off uh, as soon as there's uh, bodies that are detected. So again, always focusing on how customers can Does that require leverage a camera technology. or how does that do the presence? It would use an opt optical sensor. Okay. Um, so, and it's pretty Any easy kind to of plug and play. Any yeah. Kind of sensor would work. Okay. Powered by USB. Yeah. That's really cool. And, and, and um, so this new product is, is this the Styx 3800? Is this right? STX yep. 3800? Exactly. And, and, and is that going to be available immediately or what, what's the plan and, and being able for availability? We expect to start shipping this to customers towards the end of June. So okay. it's it's available yeah. now, but we haven't started shipping, but it's going to ship. Um, the the, the official launch is Infocom. So. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's in booth, uh, in the West Hall, booth 1957. And of course, you'll have all your digital signage stuff, but the, but the key is, as you said, the software, and that's the unique differentiator for Navori. Um, and uh, so go check them out. And of course, check them out online at Navori.com. And if you're not in digital signage, this is a great opportunity for you to learn more about it and 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 get in digital signage. I think our, our market is behind uh, in uh, digital signage adoption. So I hope this helps. Um, I'd love to see more people. Uh, and, I, and I appreciate the fact that you're at Infocom because I think that shows that you're supporting our industry uh, quite a bit. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate the time uh, sure. and the, uh, the information here, Jeffrey. So got it. yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Of course, we're gonna go and shoot individual videos on everything they do show in their booth uh, at Infocom. Uh, in the meantime, you can see all of our Infocom coverage at raypubs.com slash Infocom. Don't forget to check Navori out at N-A-V-O-R-I.com. Thanks for watching.